Hi, this is Thomas. It's June 29th, 2015. We're going to make a short video uh, requested by one of my students on how to alleviate sciatica or sciatica-like conditions. I've got our skeleton here just as a brief uh, anatomical moment. The lateral rotators, including the piriformis, start from the sacrum and move out to the femur, the top of the femur. The exception to this is, is the piriformis, perhaps the most famous lateral rotator. It starts on the inside where the tip of my finger is that you can't see, and it goes then in the same coursing. If you watch one of Gil Headley's videos, his dissection videos also on YouTube, you can see the beautiful shape and color and tone of these muscles, and I will put the link for that video in the description below. The sciatic nerve can pass through these muscles, particularly the sciatic nerve, and it can pinch them. However, if you do watch the video of Gil Headley where he shows the sciatic nerve, it is about the size of my finger. The piriformis is a small muscle, so there is, of course, a non-conformance of opinions on whether the tightness of the piriformis impinging on the sciatic nerve can cause sciatica or sciatica-like conditions. Also, just of note, People often stretch the lateral rotators in a pose called pigeon pose. Pigeon pose is a pose of lateral rotation. So in fact, when you're doing pigeon pose, you're really only stretching the piriformis muscle. You are toning and shortening the rest of the lateral rotators to form that movement. So if you want to uh, stretch the rest of the lateral rotators, you have to do medial rotation, inwards rotation. So, I'm going to show how to release the tensions in all the lateral rotators using my pro pin number two here. Basically, you'll be rolling from the sacrum out alongwards towards the femur. You could do it with a straight leg or a bent leg. I'll show a few varieties, a few options, and you can decide what's going to be right for you. So, what I like to do is sit on the tennis ball around the outside of my sacrum. I could have both feet on the ground and simply roll, turning my body as you notice I'm turning, leaning a bit to the side. And the tennis ball is now rolling from my sacrum. Now it's at my hip socket, my femur. So I'm rolling the tennis ball like this. And of course, anytime we're rolling, we want to roll very, very, very slowly. Another variation would be instead of having both feet on, you could be doing the opening up. Find a sweet spot on the tennis ball and open and close your legs slowly. There could be some trembling and discomfort. There's bound to be discomfort. Be with it as best you can. Another variation would be putting one leg on the other. Keep a little flexion of the foot at the ankle to protect the knee. You can look at the inner skin of the heel, make sure it's smooth and unwrinkled, and then again, slowly roll. This can be very unpleasant. Right now, I'm experiencing quite a lot of discomfort, and I could stop in a spot and just kind of rock and roll around a little bit. That's one variation. Another variation would be exactly the same shaping, but on my back, arms can be anywhere and again, you could just find a spot, adjust the tennis ball every now and then, and roll around. I could do the same. I could move my leg around. Take a little while and then pause. And you could remain lying down, or you could simply sit up, <clears throat> have a hand on that part of your body, relax, Check how it feels, it'll feel more open. Find words or feelings or images, something to describe the openness that's come. Take the time to do this, it's the most important step, is the feeling state, and then go to the other side. So that's one way to release the lateral rotators, uh, perhaps alleviating any sciatic nerve conditions. Thank you for watching.